What's up, Transformers fans? This is Octobottoms coming at you with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Titans Return, Voyager Class Broadside, and Blunderbuss. For the package, you got a really cool image of Blunderbuss sort of separating from Broadside. You got the Transformers text and generation logo there, as well as an open window that fully showcases the figure as well as all of his accessories. On the back of the package, you got other figures that are currently available, and it says, With the Decepticons rising, the Autobots power up with Titan Master partners to stop them. Blunderbuss gives Broadside the ability to temporarily mass shift and turn into a hulking giant. Which obviously makes sense because he transforms into an aircraft carrier or a jet. Two things that really do vary in size. But for the packaging on this guy, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. Alright guys, so here we have Broadside and Blunderbuss opened up and out of its packaging and obviously in his, what they're calling a jet mode. And I, this is just really not very good. I mean, there's there's no way around it. it it's bad. Uh, the only way that this even remotely resembles uh, a, a jet of sorts is the fact that he's kind of got wings here and he's got a little cockpit sec section. I, Everything else, just, I, I, I don't really understand. It's like, I don't get why you got this big giant section. They couldn't collapse this in any way. And I just, it doesn't really seem to, it just doesn't look good. There, there, there's no question here. Uh, there's no landing gear or anything of that nature. So you just basically just set it there. Now he does come with this gun, which is a really nice, a blue translucent plastic. You can peg it into a couple different areas. You got a lot of that translucent uh, blue plastic, like here in the wings and here with the cop and everything. You can put it right here which is perfectly fine, but then it makes it almost impossible uh, to get into the actual cockpit area, and I can't do it anyhow because I don't have the fingernails to do it. Uh, so you can open the cockpit, well, maybe, um, it, like that far. That's it. So for me, I don't even put it up there. Uh, I'll come around here to the bottom, and you got a little screw hole. I don't even know if that's actually meant to be a peg for anything, but... It pegs in there so I'm just gonna put it there and it actually kind of elevates it a little bit off the ground and I think it looks a little bit better being underneath there and now you can actually still open this up and here's blunderbuss uh, again with all the Titans uh, return figures they don't put a lot of paint in these nice detail though come in to get a nice close look you can see that he's got uh, a white head white arms uh, a red torso and then white legs uh, but pretty decent detail molded in there you, you just really don't get to see much of it because it's not painted and then to transform them into a broadside's head again you just fold it down and then pretty nice detail on there as well you got a fairly nice uh, reflective uh, red color there for the eyes but it's pretty much just done in this slightly gray plastic you can see that the arms and everything are white and then this is a slightly gray color which looks pretty nice i, I do actually like that that's a, a cool look uh, and then obviously you have the cockpit right here which you can close that up and then with the gun here getting this out you can then if you really wanted to uh put him in there and uh, again you can then take no well, you can drop him right out of there he just gonna fall sit sit in there blunderbuss you can put that right there if you if you were so inclined uh, but this is just very very uninspiring i mean it, it's like i said the only resemblance to a plane of some sorts or the fact that it's got these wings and it's got that but everything else just really looks bad especially here in the back section really very very unimpressed with it colors look really nice you got some nice uh, gray colors you got some nice uh, yellow bits thrown in there obviously the red i do like the uh, the blue translucent plastic that they use uh, they are using stickers on here uh, one thing that i will say again in some aspect and you can hear it there where the edge is a little bit over the actual plastic so it kind of gets caught on some things it, it's not too terribly bad in most cases for him but uh it is something but you can definitely have it down here like in the aircraft carriers like laden strip thing that that that's definitely not a good thing uh, some of them are pretty good like you got the autobot logo there you got another autobot logo there those are okay but some of the other ones just are, are a little bit too big i think but they have a nice chrome kind of look to them 
Now he does have a, a second alternate mode, which is obviously the aircraft carrier. To get to that, we're going to just take these, swivel these up like so, do that on both sides, come around here, flip everything to the bottom, and then you straighten out these legs. Oh, I'm sorry, you shouldn't just straighten them out. They actually tab in, so just separate them and then you can straighten them out. And then you just kind of bring this up, fold this section down just like that. These little pieces here, you're going to rotate this around bring this around. This does utilize the same mold for the most part as the Alpha Trion, but with a lot of remolded parts. So it is fairly similar to that transformation. So bring this up, you bring these pieces up like that, do that on both sides, hinge these up, and then you just squeeze all that together. And this kind of tabs in right here. Oh, actually you're supposed to take this piece Fold that out and then just squeeze all that together. Uh, give that a nice lock sort of thing. And it, it sometimes doesn't squeeze all that great together. So you, you do have to really kind of force things to, to get it to lock into place. So bring that down. These pieces fold down. We'll fiddle with this here in a little bit. These pieces come in. They rotate inward. Again, kind of keep that pushed in and then you bring these down and these will lock down into place. Do that on this side as well. Bring this around, push this down, kind of locking all that into place right there. Again, keep that nice and squeezed. And then you just take this section, rotate this up, fold this up, and there you have him in his aircraft. Oh, I'm sorry, you're supposed to come around here to the bottom and then this little section here folds out get that like that and let's see yeah something like that yeah there we go and there you have him in his aircraft carrier mode which actually this does look pretty cool now i know that broadside is supposed to be a giant triple changer with a jet in a uh, aircraft carrier mode but this is really the only alternate mode that i think looks good uh, from the top it looks pretty good the side even looks uh, fairly decent to be totally honest with you i mean you have the bottom section here and you got that it, but i mean for, for the most part i'm actually really happy with how this turned out now the other cool thing is they give you a total of five little teeny tiny just all painted white aerial bots they're all in in their alternate mode but you can totally tell that they're the aerial bots which is really very neat uh each one on the bottom has a little hole so that what you can do is actually put them on here so uh you can set that here you got little pegs that you can line things up and you can put those on the actual aircraft carrier. I, I think that that's really very creative. I mean, you got a little one back here, make it look like the silver bolt's about to take off or something. You got uh, a couple over here as well. Um, now, you do have some more that are down here, but they don't seem to fit this all that well um it, it's a little bit looser but you can still put them in there I, I think that it holds in there fairly decently but it's not as big of a peg as these uh, upper ones but i mean really th this is cool uh, i love the inclusion of this i don't I, I honestly can't remember a time where they gave us something like that where you can kind of play along with it i i think that's a great addition and just for an aircraft carrier, it looks really good. Now, you can also take this little section right here. You can fold this down, and you can rotate this piece uh, back. Let me get that. There we go. Rotate this whole section back just like so. And then you can take Blunderbuss, and you can actually sit them in here and have them kind of sit in there as, like, maybe a commander or something. I, I have no idea why you would want to do that, but you could totally do that if you wanted to. Uh, personally, I think that it just looks a lot cooler like that. And then, again, you can take this guy, and, uh, you again, you have all those little peg holes. Um, some of them, for him, don't really work all that good. Like, that one doesn't – this This is fairly big, but that doesn't – fit in there but uh, okay so you just wedge it on there you can get them standing there so i mean yeah scale wise it, it really doesn't work all that well because of how big this is supposed to be but all in all I, i'm really happy with it i do kind of wish that these 
tab together because as it is, they kind of separate right there. But because this is the bottom of his feet, I don't know necessarily how they could have put a, a tab in there without kind of sacrificing the uh, overall, I guess, stability uh, of the feet themselves. So you just have to wiggle it a little bit and kind of manipulate it. Now, to transform him into his robot mode, you do have to kind of remove these as uh, some of these panels have to lay flat. You don't I guess have to, but it makes things a little bit easier. So we're just gonna take those off, set those off to the side for now, and then come around here, detach this, detach this, detach that, swivel this down, lock that down like so. Do that on this side as well. You can come around here to the front section, separate the legs, then tuck this little piece down, oh, I'm sorry, tuck it up like so and then rotate them around like that now uh, the instructions actually tell you to leave these kind of like pointed like that i think that looks a little bit silly i actually like folding it down like that so that's how i'm going to do it so again rotate that around rotate that out spin that around and then you take these and you hinge these forward just like that and there you have his legs done angling up to the top then take these tuck these down take this whole section right here kind of get these wings a little bit out of the way take this whole section rotate this around and then tuck that down just like so bring the hands out rotate those around and then you got the fist on the inside you just fold those out just like that so angle that rotate that pull that out just like that and come around here to the back section these wings just kind of angle these out take this whole top section here this detaches and then spin this all the way back and just rest this on the back section now there are a bunch of little holes and tabs and stuff uh, you can fiddle with that and try and line it up as much as you want it really doesn't do too much for it so i'm just going to leave it kind of hanging there so take this set this right there uh, this piece here popped out so i will have to show you that here in a second but take blunderbuss rotate that around Kind of keep his head there, peg this in right there, and oh, well, the little gimmick right here with the little side pieces is activated when you push this, and boom, that pops that up. Kind of angle these wings how you want to do it, and there you have Broadside in his robot mode. And actually, one final thing that I did forget to do, uh, you need to rotate these pieces back around to the uh, back of his shoulders, and that really does kind of complete the look, although, it almost looks a little bit better when you leave them up. I guess it's mostly just personal preference, but overall, robot mode though here, I think looks really very nice. You do see a lot of those elements that that Alpha Trion figure had, but for the most part, he does look like a considerably different figure. Obviously, you know, I have him holding his gun. When you do uh, rotate these around, you, you get these little peg holes, so I guess you could kind of put that there if, if you wanted to do that I, I don't i don't care it's again your toy do what you want with it he's big he's clunky colors look really very nice on him i mean yes he does have a lot of those sticker details but a lot of the paint is still really nice like for example you got some nice yellow up here you got a little dot right there the different uh, color grays here look really good in contrast with one another uh, he does have those stickers as I was talking about, but like, for example here with the Autobot logo, it's actually fairly nicely applied and because it's on a, a flat surface, you don't really have a problem with it and it's straight. That's really important to me. Uh, these kind of get in the way and when you're rotating everything around, it goes along with it so it really doesn't mess things up too terribly much, but uh, you, you do have to kind of position it in, in a way to kind of make it look fairly good. One thing that kind of does weird me out is when this is down i mean i mean it looks okay i mean i don't have a problem with that uh, obviously as broadside here he he did have like these little things here all on the side but when you have it down like for example right now uh, his head's a, a fairly straight kind of thing you can see though that it, it wants to sort of tilt back a little bit which is is weird then when you push this it, it pulls it back even more. I, I don't know. I, I think that he kind of looks like he's looking up a, a little bit too much. It, it's not bad, but it's just a little annoyance kind of thing that I have. Now, for his articulation, uh, if you have these down, he does get a nice full range of motion uh, because of the head of his uh, Titan Master. When you have these up, all you can really do is rotate it on this little section right here, but 
that's plenty i think that's okay uh, the shoulders like i said do rotate very nicely there's a lot of stuff on them but it really doesn't get too much in the way so you get a full 360 right there you get a nice uh, forward and back uh, at the shoulder he does rotate at the upper part of the elbow area he does bend at the elbow the wrist i guess you could kind of say he rotates forward and back uh, but he doesn't rotate at the waist the hips here move forward they move back they move in and out he rotates at the upper part of the thigh he's got a uh, single joint here at the elbow now i know i said something wrong there that's his knee paul he rotates at his knee and then the uh, ankles here you, you got that little uh, double hinge kind of thing right here so you can move it forward and back basically but uh, not too terribly much all in all though i mean really good looking figure i, I do enjoy how he turned out uh, specifically his like i said aircraft carrier mode and his robot mode now for a size here he is here he is next to the Deluxe Clash Trigger Happy, so clearly you got a Voyager and a Deluxe figure going on. And here he is next to his mold partner, Alpha Trion. And, you know, one thing, because they share kind of like the same, I guess, base engineering, I, I, I guess I expected him to be a little bit more like him. And there's a lot that's different. I mean, you can see how many different remolded parts on here. I mean, there's so much that's different. I mean, the only thing, I mean, he's they got the same feet. Um, I, I mean, so much else is just really i mean these little side pieces are the same i mean there's just a lot that's on here that is completely different and, and it really does make for a, a a totally different experience and i really do appreciate that a lot of times people are constantly complaining about hasbro remolding or repainting but when it's this extensive it's almost like a completely different figure I mean, I, I, I guess you could kind of say that, that, you know, they share proportionally some similar looks, but it just, like I said, is a completely different experience. Now to transform them back, we're going to take this off. We're going to take this section. We're going to tuck this down just like so. Uh, I guess you can bring these little pieces out. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter when you do it. Take the fists rotate those around we're going to go back to his uh, aircraft carrier mode just for starters bring this down this whole section here will rotate and lock into place just like so spin this around so you can kind of see what's going on this entire bit right here you want to rotate that around as well kind of lining that up along that section good rotate this rotate this fold these just kind of get these out of the way bring these little pieces up along the back section here just like that and then just angle these around hold that kind of together like that then bring these in and lift the, you got a little tab section right here they lock here on the forearms and then also right there so you just bring that in and line that up nicely try to get that to oh well let's see here what did i have that not the right way let's see where's the tab thing maybe oh no wait well, well, maybe it does. Oh, no, it does. Yeah, I'm sorry. Rotate that all the way around. I do apologize. So you want to make sure you have that spun around like that. So, again, do that on this side. That way you have that little tab section right up there. So that's what you're locking that in. So bring that in. Give that a nice little push. Lock that into place. Kind of hold these bits together. Again, some of the panels don't really tab together all that great if you fiddle with things. So do be careful with that. Rotate this piece down. That kind of gives it a little a stabilizer as well as these little back sections. So make sure you keep that out just like that. Come around to the side. These little pieces will go underneath here. Rotate these down along the side of the aircraft carrier. Again, kind of fiddle with these to kind of keep this together as much as possible. Take this section, rotate this up, and then bring this part up just like so. And again, I, I really do like this. Uh, you got these little stabilizers here that allow you to kind of stand it up like so. Uh, you can then take all these little jets, you can put them on here in any number of places. You know, one thing that really does amaze me about this is just how much this does look like an aircraft carrier. I would love a large version of this like if you went full on I, I mean not even leader class i mean i would love a larger size one than leader class uh, i just think that that would be super awesome just the idea of a giant aircraft carrier transforming i think is cool i would totally be down for that now to go to his uh, jet mode we're going to bring this up bring this up angle these pieces out i fold this piece down just like that come around to this back section fold this 
along the bottom section. Bring this all down, bring this down, bring this down, rotate this, take these, you tuck those down. Uh, these little wing things here, kind of bring these out like that, then separate these. You can take this, tuck this under there, and then bring this around and you got a little tab. It's kind of hard to tell, but you got a whole bunch of empty spaces here. That one right there, you have to bring up an angle and that's what locks in there. And then you just bring the knee down like so. Do that on this side as well. Bring that up. Keep these, I'm sorry, keep these wings out. Bring that up like that. Bring that down and come around here to these. You then swivel these around, locking these in place underneath there. Do that on this side as well. You got a little tab and a slot that lines up. And then you just put that into place. Put that there bring these up uh, i know somebody was complaining i i did see somebody kind of say how stupid this looks on a uh, post on my instagram that the uh, bits of these being reversed are kind of annoying and uh you, you can't you can't swap them out they were asking if you can reverse them you can't because they're pinned in so you could if you took the pin out but i i don't have uh, the ability to do that then take these hinge these outward and then this little section right here this is like a little hook piece that's going to actually just rest in that square it doesn't really do too terribly much other than just sit there um it doesn't hold it too well um so it, it's a little annoying because it doesn't really do anything like i said so separate this bring this back and then hinge this inside there like so bring the wings out uh, you can take him you can put him in the cockpit again you can take this you can put that there i uh, actually prefer putting it underneath here as it kind of gives like i said a little bit of a kind of bottom section almost like a landing gear of sorts uh, you can also still take these and they do tell you that you can peg these on here uh let me see you, you got like all these little pegs that are still uh, spread throughout all this and they show you that you can actually still kind of store these in the uh, jet mode here i just think that it's kind of silly because uh, why would you have a, a, a giant jet like this carrying other jets so why you want to do that i have no idea uh doesn't matter really to me and i'm just gonna take them off but i'm right back over them y'all and there you have broadside back in his jet mode overall though really cool toy as i talked about nine times out of ten triple changers will suffer from having one bad mode and that's absolutely true here with broadside the jet just doesn't look good this whole leg design thing worked a lot better when it came to creating alpha trion conversely alpha trion's jet mode thing though didn't really work very well. But this guy's aircraft carrier mode is fantastic. I love the way that it looks. From the top to the bottom, it looks like an aircraft carrier. And then obviously his robot mode does a good job of looking like broadside like it's supposed to. So two out of three, not bad. Also really appreciate the colors that are on here. The stickers, while some of them are a little bit eh, I do like the fact that we have some stickers to give them a little bit more color and detail. But all in all, I really do like this figure. As I believe Broadside here was the intended idea for this mold, I think that it works really nicely. So all that being said, I would absolutely recommend picking this guy up. Now Broadside here, as well as the rest of the new wave, should be hitting various retail locations fairly soon. So good luck and happy hunting. Or as always, there's Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do for that is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to BBTS where you can check out availability on this guy as well as the rest of their wide range of Transformers Titans Return figures. But beyond that guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Don't forget that if you like this video to please hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long way towards helping me out and I'd really appreciate it. Also be sure to subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. that way you get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video and you never miss out on a future review of mine. Or if you're already subscribed, be sure to click on that little bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And as always, until next time, be excellent to each other. You're